Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again, and today, uh, tonight actually, because it's uh, after 10 o'clock at night, um, I am going to be doing a special unboxing for you. I was going to do this tomorrow face to face, but um, as I said in the last video I filmed, um, it is going to be 40 degrees centigrade here tomorrow, if not a bit hotter, uh, and that is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit. It is also going to be what they call a catastrophic fire day in the area that I live in, um, which means that if a fire starts, it is probably not going to be good. We're going to have high winds very dry, um, no humidity or anything, so not really a day that I want to be putting on makeup and fart assing around. Um, yeah, so um, I had intended to do it face to face, but I will do it this way. It might be slightly more awkward, I don't have as much space to fiddle around with stuff, um, but I think this way at least I'll get it videoed and put up, which is what I wanted to do. <laughs> so um, in recent times, uh, Revolution Makeup has come to a price line in Australia, which I think is really good. I know some people are not super keen on Revolution because they have so many different brands and they always seem to be putting out stuff. However, in Australia it's so hard to get a lot of the brands that you get overseas without paying a stupid amount of shipping to actually get hold of it. And that's not always possible to do. Um, and so they, and I had never tried anything from Revolution, so I, um, I was going to buy some of the palettes, like they do have, I think they had one of the Roxasaurus palettes and a couple of the other collab type palettes. Um, they have the Emily edit ones online, but they don't have them in store that I've seen, at least not in the store that we have in the town I live in. Um, they're always a little bit late getting shit. <laughs> but I saw that they had a 12 Days of Christmas advent calendar online, and so I went into the store and I was like, hey, have you guys got it? And one of the girls I know that who works in there is like, oh, no, nah, we don't have it yet. Um, they had some of the Christmas release stuff. Um, but they didn't have this one. And she said, just keep on checking back. Um, which is a little awkward. But um, I happened to drop back in a couple of days after that. And they were there. And I was so happy. Um, so I bought it. And I brought it home. And it's been sitting here for a week. And I still haven't opened it. So we're going to open it today. I'm going to open all 12 days of it. I'm not going to fart ass around with it. It tells me on the side here all of the stuff that is in here. I know there is a, um, a brush set. And there is um, some eyeshadow palette stuff. And some contour stuff. Um, so... Yeah, some of them are kind of like on the bigger side, some of them are on the smaller side. Um, so, yeah, I think it should be really interesting. This cost 90 Australian dollars, which I know sounds like a lot of money, and actually it is a lot of money. That's about how much, though, I paid for my NYX one that just mainly had lipsticks in it. So, um, like the lip vault from NYX. So, and they're all minis. And some of these are actually full-size things, so I think that's not necessarily a bad price. A Revolution palette in Australia, the ones that I've seen star are around about 20 bucks a palette. Um, so I don't think that $90 is bad value for 12 things to unbox. So that's just my opinion. Um, as I said, I've never really... I haven't tried anything Revolution. I was going to get their um, foundation the other day, but I didn't. Um, I did look at it. Um, I tested it on my hand, and it did not dry down. Like, because, of course, I would go for the luminizing, dewy type one. It did not... Um, it did not dry down very well, I felt. Um, I'd almost definitely have to set it, which I try to avoid doing, because my skin's a little bit older, and... Um, I know dewy ones, you kind of have to set them if you don't want them to move too much, but I wasn't in the mood. So, anyway, I'm going to take this plasticky thing off, and then we'll get started. I'm also going to fish a bug out of my cup of coffee. How rude. Ah. 
So it comes in this very nice little box. The box is quite solid. So they haven't, um, I thought they might do it like most advent calendar type things, but they haven't. They've just whacked it in the box like that, which is not necessarily a bad thing. It does make it somewhat easier. <laughs> so we'll just start at one end and we will have a look. So first up, we have a travel brush set what little brushes um, very clearly synthetic tell that without even opening it but I'm gonna open it anyway um, yeah, this big one hmm, it's not bad it's relatively soft I mean these kind of brushes have their uses um, you know I don't really travel much like I literally I've travelled more in the last like two years than I have probably most of my life. That one's not quite so soft. I'm not sure what I'd use that for. Um, that one's clearly meant to be an eye and an eyebrow one. So yeah. So you know, it's it has its uses. Um, I never complain about getting brushes. Like I need them like a hole in the head. Lip glosses. These are full size lip glosses. Um, all in nude shades, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, as I said, this might be a slightly longer video. Did I say that? I probably should have said that. Um, you might want to pause and go get a couple because I'm probably going to swatch some of this stuff because I've never seen it before. So this one is O2, which doesn't have a name, it's just a lip gloss, and, okay, so, number two is kind of a rosy nude, number one oh, is much nuder. And then number three is sparkly. The other two are not sparkly. So number one is quite opaque. Number two is less um, opaque or see-through. And number three is shimmery. I don't know how well you can see that. My light is terrible. I am sorry. Very, very sorry. So it happens when you film at night and you don't have, you know, a ring light or fancy schmancy lighting. Because normally I film in daylight because it's just easier. Um, there we go. Okay. So next we have... Okay. Oh, they've done this so that this box actually sits up because it's not as thick as the other one and it's very shiny. This is the Illuminating Fixing Spray. Sorry, that just probably just blinded you really badly. Again, a full-size product. Um, you know, just going on like 20 bucks a palette. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, um, three lip glosses, more than it got my money back, I would say, with just the palettes, let alone these other items, so, yeah, illuminating fixing spray, which is cool, I use, I tend to use a dewy type fixing spray most of the time, sometimes I use a mattifying one, it just depends, of which there is one of those as well. There is the Mattifying Primer. I don't have a huge amount of primers in my collection, so I'm always happy to get something new that I've never tried before. Um, I don't really need a mattifying primer. I need more like a pore filling primer. But again, this is full size. This is not a sample size. So none of the stuff in here 
has been, except for the travel size brushes, none of them have been like mini sized or travel sized. So that is actually really good value. If you've never tried um, Revolution Beauty and you can get hold of this particular Christmas Advent, 12 Days of Christmas thing, I would, I, I would, I reckon, if you're curious about what their stuff's like. So there is the cooling fixing spray, which sounds really nice, especially with like it being summer in Australia and it being so stupidly hot. It's not actually even summer yet, it's still friggin' spring, but um, yeah. Cool. So that'll be interesting to try. So two fixing sprays, a primer, three lip glosses, and then I'm pretty sure that everything else, oh, except for the eye primer, is palettes. So we have the Illuminating Eye Primer. Um, I literally only have two sort of eye primers, which you have probably seen me using all year. Um, a white one and a nude one in stick form. They are literally the only eye primers I have. So I am quite happy. It's a lot of packaging for a very small product. I mean, I know this is also full size, but still, the box is a bit overkill, in my opinion. Um, I'm sure they boxed it like that just so that it could fit in this particular setup. So like there's this extra bit of heavy-duty cardboard that they put in to hold the pallets up. You know, I mean... It actually would be really good if you're trying to make boxes because it's very thick. Anyway, back to the eye primer. Um, it's a nude colour. Cool. I'm interested to try that and see what it's like. Apparently it's illuminating. Um, I don't think that's necessary with eye primers, quite honestly. Um, so I'm going to take these palettes out and I'm going to move the big boxy thing out of the way. <gasps> oh, it falls in love before she's even opened it. Okay, so this first palette is the Metallic Crush Pigment Palette. Um, I'm guessing... Oh, I'm actually impressed. Okay, so there are ten shades in here, and quite often with these uh, pigment type ones, there is a disclaimer on the back that certain colours are not eye safe. Um, what they usually mean is that they're going to stain your eyes um, and because it actually literally says a colorant that is not approved to the eye area in the US. So all the other countries in the world don't give a shit, just the US. <laughs> and, I'm a sh and it says that shades 6, 7 and 10. So I'm assuming that that is... I'm not sure which way they numbered them, but I'm assuming 6, 7, and 10 are the three that are not. They didn't name it, say the name of them, which they probably should have, but there's no mirror on the palette, but I am fine with that. I don't have a problem with that, and I fucking, excuse my language, love these shades. This one draws my eyes straight away, and this one, it's got two purples, which are right up my alley. I love a good green. Um, this really dark blue, bluey purple, oh, they look so beautiful. I am going to swatch for you um, Velvet, which is the green one, Circus, which is the orange one, Vegas, which is the purple one, oh, and Wave. So, Wave. Oh, it's uh, Vegas, Circus, and oh, I'm dead. <laughs> totally dead. Oh my god, they are so, so gorgeous. Oh, you just grab a thingy. What's it? Um. They're beautiful. I am going to have so much fun playing with that. Um, I love shimmer and I love bright colours. So, yeah, I'm very excited about those. I should have got a makeup wipe before I started. 
One second. They're just, seriously, so beautiful. You saw how I swatched those. I, I don't have any primer or anything on my hand, no glitter glue, nothing like that. They swatch really nicely. Doesn't mean they're going to perform necessarily on the eyes, and I would probably, I think they'd probably apply better with a um, finger than a brush, just from experience. That sort of tells me that. A couple of things out of my way. As I said, I oops, sorry. Don't have a huge amount of room here. Okay, so next we have the Ultimate Neutrals Pigment Palette. It has one, two, three, four absolute mattes. Then it has two shades, that look, three shades that look like they have a tiny bit of shimmer in them, and then and metallic, I was right, and then three metallic shades, and I mean, I'm a little bit over the whole warm neutrals thing, but these are a really nice, it's a very nicely balanced collection of shadows. So I am not upset at all with how they look. Probably not showing up great. Um, so I think I will swatch Phase, um, which is one of the shimmers, Standard, which looks like a great transition colour for me. Uh, robust, another matte, and Talent. So, phase, yeah, I think that will, it's an interesting colour, it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it, uh, standard, yeah, doesn't show up hugely, but it is a very good transition type colour, oh, that's nice, that one's probably got a colour that is not, uh, I say, <laughs> robust, and talent, oh, is that a duochrome talent? That is really interesting. Good, solid, neutral palette. Um, nice pigmentation from what I can see. Um, it's got three good light colours and then it's got a couple of darker colours which allow you to create depth and then that shimmer and shine of the um, metallics and the shimmers. So that's another good one to my mind. Um, just check the back. Yeah, apparently this one's actually got four colorants that are not approved for eye use in, a, um, in the US. Um, and they're the four, these four here I think. Yeah, two, three, four and five. So those three there. Um, it is what it is. Um, obviously, we don't worry about that too much in Australia. <laughs> um, the next one is the Velvet Matte Pigment Palette. So this is a full matte palette. No shimmer, no shine whatsoever. Um, according to this, it has one, two, three, four, five, six of the ten shades of a colour not approved for the eye area in the US. Anybody who's worried about that, what they're referring to is the fact that the um, the colorant that is in them could potentially stain your eyes. Um, so it's more of a warning that it could potentially be staining rather than a don't use it, it's dangerous type of thing. Um, because clearly other countries have determined that it's not dangerous it just stains. Like hair dye stains, it's not really dangerous, not if you use it appropriately. Um, but it's just something to be aware of if you're worried about that kind of stuff. 
and I cannot get this open. Okay, that one looks like I've got a gouge in it. Um, this is a lot more cool toned than the other two were. Like this shade, this shade, this one and this one are all quite cool in tone, which is, uh, even that one, which is really nice to see. Um, it does have a white. I think Panther is actually supposed to almost be black, but it is really more charcoal than black. Um, so, let's see how good their white is. Mm, it's going to be a patchy. Another good transition shade. Let's see what that brown is like. And the one that looks like it should be black. Mm. Okay, so milk. Yeah, it's pretty patchy and chalky. I knew that pretty much as soon as I picked it up. So it looks like their mattes are not the best. Um, that's not a bad transition colour. That one's a bit better. Yeah, the black is not like black black, but if you're afraid of black, it's probably a good starting black because it's not quite as pigmented um, as some blacks are, like carbon. Um, carbon is a very, really strong, a very, really strong, wow, English number one. Um, yeah, they seem okay. Um, I think you probably have to work with them a bit. It might be different um, putting them on the eye to seeing them in the palette. Um, but again, it's a good basic standard type of palette. None of them so far have made me think these are terrible, which is actually a nice surprise. Next we have a blush and highlight palette. Uh, some of these are very shimmery. One of them, I think, looks like orgasm, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, not that I own that, but it's got the similar, similar vibe, is what I would say. So I'm gathering the top row is supposed to all be highlighters, and the bottom row is supposed to all be blushes. So peachy, pink, neutral, and what I think looks a little bit like Nars Orgasm. It's kind of um, rosy with a gold shimmer kind of thing. Then we've got a, I guess, almost a bronzy highlighter, champagne, uh, gold, and a paler champagne. Um, so we will do two two of each. Um, this one is matte and this one is matte. That one's got glitter in it. That is clearly glittery. So I'm going to look at the uh, champagne one and the gold one and then probably that matte one and this one. And we will see. Oh, shit, it looks great. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, so that is one of the highlighters. Hmm. It's not, not bad, bad at all. Like generally wear gold highlighters, it tends to clash with my skin tone, but okay. Um, holy crap, you would want to be careful with that one. That is very pigmented, um, light hand required. And the, this one is gorgeous. Not quite as pigmented as this one, but that pink with the gold in it. I would use that as an eyeshadow rather than as a blush though, just personally. Um, I don't mind gold on my eyes, but I don't think it looks good on my face. Um, and a lot of that to do is to do with the fact that I have a very yellow undertone, to a uh, very pink undertone to my skin. So yellow stuff tends to, like yellowy gold stuff does tend to look a little off if it's not uh, with other colours in a small area. So I can wear it on my eyes, but I can't really wear it anywhere else. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm not unhappy with that one. That one doesn't have any names on it either. Then there is a Ultra whoops, Contour Palette. Um, 
So it has a collection of matte and shimmer highlighters and matte contour powders, if I can get this stupid thing open. Now the problem I have with most contour palettes, it's the same problem I have with the three contour palettes, I already have that are like this, there is only one contour shade that I would probably be able to use, the other two are too dark, um, although you can use them as eyeshadows, so all is not lost. Um, I've never really understood the point of a um, matte highlighter, this is a banana powder, and it's a dark banana powder. So again, I I basically can't use a can't use a banana powder anyway. It doesn't look right. Um, this one I could probably get away with, but again, it's too dark to use like under the eye or anything like that. That's like almost darker than my skin tone. So that and these two here are pretty much the only ones that um, I could use. They do look really interesting, I have to say. So I am going to swatch the highlighter that I can actually. Um, for C using and the contour and these oh that is that feels weird that one's really smooth that one is like almost textured it's weird um, so that is the highlighter not much going on there uh, the contour mm. might be able to use it I'd have to blend it out super hard that has the weirdest texture. It's interesting, but it has a really weird texture. Um, and that one is... Mm, that would be a good bronzing shade for me. <laughs> That's what that is. That's a bronzer shade for me. That gives you some idea of how pale I really am. Is that this thing that they think is kind of like a highlighter is actually a bronzer. <laughs> because that's literally my skin, like almost the perfect colour for my skin tone to bronze with. Not that I usually bother bronzing because I'm pasty and I don't have a problem with being pasty. It is what it is. Um, I'm more just making a statement of fact than anything else. Um, yeah, so that's, that's that one. Um, so, so far, three of the palettes I've been super happy with. Two of them I'm kind of a bit nah, nah, and this one I think I'm going to be very nyah nyah about because this is a brow palette. Um, and making a brow palette uh, useful means that you're going to put in a lot of shades. Oh, I can't even get that thing open. You're going to put in a lot of shades that people can't use because, um, although I can pretty much get away with anything because my hair is like, you know, pink and purple and blue and green and whatever colour I happen to decide to have. My gosh. I can manage to get through this whole video without having to destroy a box until I got to here. Okay, so this brow powder palette has brow powder, brow tint, brow enhancing wax, highlighting powder, sealing wax and a strobe balm. Okay. This has also been in changed weather conditions because there is moisture. And it is moisture. It isn't anything else for people who want to say that it's goobies. Some moisture, like condensation on this one and this one. Um, these two are clearly tinted wow, bra brow waxes um, in two shades of brown for brow powders. That one and that one I could quite easily use. They're about the same colour as my Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I'm assuming that this is the, um, what did they call it? The Brow Enhancing Wax highlight powder, sealing wax, strobe balm thing. So you could use this to highlight your brow bone, make it like super shiny. 
and I'm pretty sure it's a cream product, judging by the look of it. So, my biggest issue with this particular palette is the fact that they have cream products or wax products mixed with um, powder products. Even though wax is not as bad as a cream product, this is quite clearly cream. <laughs> it's, I mean, it says it's strobe balm. So this is cream, this is wax, this is wax, and these are probably waxy. So they're not so bad, but the, this one is going to get brown powder in it, and it's going to ruin it. It's also going to go off faster than everything else that's in the palette. And it's huge, <laughs> apart from anything else. Uh, so part of me is very tempted to grab a tool like this and a small container, like a glass container, and put that, take it out of it and put it in another container um, so it doesn't get destroyed and also to keep it more airtight. The waxes are probably not so bad because the wax, wax responds quite well. Um, but putting cream-based products with powder products is always a really bad idea. They get contaminated um, and their shelf life is different to the powders. I don't even know if they put that on here because they've only got 12 months on here. The powders would last a lot longer than 12 months. Um, the cream, maybe not. So anything you can do to extend the life of it is what you should do. I prefer it when they either give them to you separately or they give you some way of covering them so that when you use the powder if it's really powdery it doesn't go into that I mean I don't know how powdery the powders are there's definitely kick up and that little bit of kick up can end up down in there and it would just ruin it um, yeah so um, that's the highlighting powder it's a pretty pink shimmer. Um, not a bad brow colour. It's very grey, which is great. You don't want it too warm for most people because it just looks weird. Um, yeah, so it's not a bad brow, brow palette. It's just that the majority of people are never going to be able to use every shade that's in it. Um, or use enough of like this particular product here for it not to go bad before everything else is used up. Oh, uh, yeah, so, and, you know, I, my brain is saying to me that the waxes should have been this size, and the highlighters should have been, like, half the size that they actually are. It's just what my brain is telling me, because I'm pretty sure you'd use more wax than you would the others to, like, tame unruly brows, but that's just me. <laughs> um... Yeah, so probably not my favourite thing out of it, but I will still try it because I'm still curious as to what the quality of these products is like. Um, now clearly I don't have a uh, mascara or a foundation. Um, I do have a primer and a setting spray. Um, but when the weather is um, has calmed its tits a little and is not quite so bad, um, I will probably do at least one look or a couple of looks using the palettes in particular and trying out some of the other products and seeing what they'd like. Um, if you would like to see that, uh, make sure you like this video so I know you actually want to see something like that. Uh, yeah, so that was the Revolution 12 Days of Beauty sort of advent calendar, not really an advent calendar. Um, and it is, I think, actually pretty good value, particularly if you like eyeshadows, because you get three full-size eyeshadow palettes from the Revolution range that pretty much covers every formula that they make. Um, would give you a good basis for what their product is actually like. And they they haven't just given you neutral ones to, like... You know, keep the majority of people happy they've actually thrown in this really colorful one for those people who want to oops, sorry uh, want to experiment a little bit and giving you lots of mattes to play with as well you know, def decent selection of blushes and highlighters and stuff 
a little bummed that they only gave us lip glosses and not any of their lipstick type stuff or um, liquid lipstick type stuff. I would have liked those probably more and I'm not really a huge neutral fan so um, I probably would have liked some colour in that but other than that that's fine. Yeah, brushes, I can always use little brushes. The brow palette whoops, is a little ooh, eye primer. I like the idea of that. Mattifying primer, not something I really need but I'll still try it out see what it's like. And two full size setting sprays. Not mad at all. Um, yeah, so I think for 90 bucks, I wouldn't have been able to buy all of this stuff individually for 90 bucks. So, um, yeah, I am perfectly happy with my purchase. And I think it's a good way to try out Revolution for the first time. Yeah, so that is my unboxing video of the Revolution 12 Days of Christmas Beauty thing, whatever the fuck they're called. I can't remember now. I'm sorry. <laughs> If you liked this video and you want to see me do some looks with this stuff, then give this video a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, click the little bell down there. Click the um, bell icon -y thing on the side to get notifications. If you want them, you don't have to. Um, and if you leave me a comment, um, if it's a question, I'll probably try to answer it. If it's a comment, I'll like it. Um, yeah. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.